Hello friends, today we are going to talk about a very important probability distribution that is widely used in probability statistics and also has many other applications. Uh, the name of this distribution as you can see is called student's t distribution. I am showing you the page from Wikipedia which you can easily access. You can find a huge literature on this distribution but since many of you do not have access to your books and other textual materials so i thought that it would be an, um, better to uh, talk from the U wikipedia which everyone can access even from your mobile handsets so this is a distribution that is a continuous probability distribution and just uh, to, to quickly recall a continuous probability distribution is one where the distribution function is continuous and the equivalent statement is that if x is a continuous random variable then probability x equal to y is 0. That means a distribution is continuous if it is um, uh, giving 0 mass to point sets. And this you know that is equivalent to saying that the distribution function is continuous. Now I have uh, earlier introduced in this course uniform distribution as one of the key examples. Uh, one of the key examples of a um, uh, continuous distribution then we have done exponential and uh, normal and uh, um, th this distribution th is derived as a sampling distribution of a uh, important function of the data which is used in y uh, uh, which we will use in test uh, uh, testing of hypothesis regarding mean so it is a sampling distribution of a test statistics that is how it is widely known so today um, i will talk about first let me talk about its history so if you go to this section if you say history i am going to click on that so here i am uh, clicking on the history and itemology so here you can see the history i will talk through this history a bit um uh, so let us look at the second paragraph so that is what is the interesting the in english language literature the distribution that is the student's t distribution uh, derives its name from william uh, william Seeley's gosset so uh, this is the picture of uh, the, uh, uh, William Silly Gossett, he used to use the pseudonym student. Uh, so this is why, why the distribution by him is called student's tree distribution. Now if we look at the history, it says that uh, he used to work, and that is William Silly used to work in Guinness Brewery in Dublin, Ireland and was interested in pro uh, problems of uh, so I'll tell you precisely he was interested in finding the distribution of sample mean where the sample size is small as it is uh, written here properties uh, chemical properties of uh, barley where the sample sizes are where it might be as few as uh, three one version of the uh, origin of the pseudonym uh, is that Gossett's employers um, in Dublin preferred the staff to use a pseudonym while publishing the research paper. So while pu uh, pu pu publishing this, his paper in uh, 1908, as you can see, 1908, in, in a famous journal called Biometrica, Gossett used the student uh, pseudonym uh, student. And Gossett's paper um, was later on uh, became famous because of another, another very renowned uh, statistician, namely Ronald Fisher, uh, who, wo used, uh, who worked on this distribution and he referred to this distribution as the student's t distribution student's distribution so that is how it derives its name so now let us look at the background so the, um, you see that uh, suppose i have got n iid in normal variables with mean mu variance sigma square i do not know what is the mean mu and i do not know the value of the sigma square 
so sub so i estimate the mean based on the so sample uh, so it is the x bar and s square is the sample variance now usually the variance definition that you have seen there in the denominator uh, in the denominator here that should, that is 1 by n but here i am uh, it is 1 by n minus 1 that is not a big difference but it is done to make it uh, uh, to make it an unbiased estimator that means if you take the expectation of this thing this will turn out to be n minus 1 into sigma square uh, so that is why we divide it by n minus 1 anyhow now basel um, uh, so it is also called basel corrected sample variance now let us look at this quantity x bar minus mu in the numerator and sigma divided by root over n in the denominator now this ratio is not uh, this ratio will if sigma is known then this will be what this will be standard normal because there is a property of the normal distribution that if uh, if x i is are iid normal then x bar will also be normal and the mean of that distribution will be mu and the variance of x bar will be sigma square by n uh, so th by that logic you know if we do the standardization x bar minus mu x bar minus mu divided by sigma by root over n that will be standard normal n01 but now as in hypo suppose we don't know mu and sigma so i am supposed testing the null hypothesis that mu is equal to some value let us say zero then under null hypothesis it will be x bar minus zero so x bar but still i don't know what is the sigma so i 